Welcome to the Dennis Report. I'm Dennis Acheson. This is an episode of As I See It titled Lyme Disease, Ticks, and Your Health. Janet Higgins, the founding president of Lyme NB, wants to know your experiences with Lyme disease. New Brunswick Lyme Disease Association, LymeNB.ca, and Mount Allison University are now doing a survey to learn the extent and the impact of Lyme disease in our province. Things like tick encounters, tick bite rashes, diagnosis and treatment, experiences with the healthcare system, how it's impacted you and your loved one's life, and your quality of life. This is big, and as the spring and summer of 2019 approach, maybe it's worth your attention, no matter where you live in the province. In June of 2018, CBC reported the degree of change of black-legged ticks in New Brunswick. Black-legged ticks have been detected in York County, which stretches from McAdam in the southwest to the Renew Highway in north and includes Fredericton. York is the sixth county where ticks have been confirmed as well as the largest, stretching 166 kilometers between its two farthest points. So it's important to know what ticks look like and which ones spread Lyme disease. Here's a graphic which offers how to look at and understand or identify the difference between the ticks. It's important to have access to information and there's lots of it on social media and on Google searches. But here's a couple that might help get you started. The Government of New Brunswick website under the Office of the Chief Medical Officer of Health, has a whole section dedicated to Lyme disease, ticks, and much, much more information. As well, on an international scale, here's the Global Lyme Alliance, which is worth a look for the resources it has to offer and healthcare suggestions as well. Now, specific to New Brunswick, here is LymeNB.ca. Here you'll find information and links to resources specific to New Brunswick. It's also where you find the link to do the survey that Ms. Higgins wants you to help with. So to recap, Ms. Higgins and Lyme NB wants to know your experiences with Lyme disease, how you got it, diagnosis, treatment, and quality of life. If you have had Lyme disease, or if you know someone who's had it, or you're a caregiver, or a family member, or a relative, or a friend, please take the time to go to LymeNB.ca, look in the upper right corner, and click the survey button. The survey results are to be presented May 22, 2019, to an MLA roundtable, specific on Lyme disease, and will be part of a Canadian Lymescape which is going to merge data from all across the country. I'll post the links down in the comments section so that you can find all of those different graphics quite easily. And you can access the survey by contacting Ms. Higgins at Higgins, H-I-G-G-I-N-S-F at nbnet.nb.ca or by going to the LymeNB.ca website and clicking the survey button in the upper right corner. Be good, have fun, love each other.